David Walker, the head accountant for the United States government, the head of the government accounting office, said, the true deficit of the United States government is $800 billion a year, not the phony number that they're publishing every year. That's an unconscionable amount. It's unsustainable. And so Ron will go in there and do what's necessary to restore the republic. This will be the counter-revolution to the counter-revolution of 1913 when we got the income tax and the Federal Reserve. He will create sound money and he will replace the income tax with nothing. Not 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 as the mass media would have you believe. They are consistent with what's necessary. As a doctor, he knows he's diagnosed the problem correctly. He knows what the solution is. He knows what the treatment <coughs> is. It's not going to happen overnight, folks. It's going to take several years, maybe several decades to do, but we have to begin <coughs> on January 20, 2009. Yeah. Yeah. say there's no substitute for victory in Iraq. Iraq is lost. We've been in Iraq longer than we took to defeat Nazism and the Japanese Empire in World War II. A failed policy is a failed policy. No matter how much posturing is not going to eliminate the failed premise of the neoconservatives, former leftists who have taken over the Republican Party. It's time to take over the Republican Party again. Conservatives want to have the word conservative in their name, they should look to the traditional conservatives of Howard Buffett, Robert Taft, Garrett Garrett, H.L. Mencken, people who saw in the 1930s that the New Deal was going to be a disaster, who saw that the empire after World War II was going to be a disaster. And it is, the disaster is here, there's no time to wait. We need to get Ron Paul the nomination and then the election so we can defeat the, the big government welfare warfare state proponents in both parties. We do not have a two-party system. Yes. Ron Paul is yes. the only one that is standing up for the Constitution. The other candidates are saying they are going to reform the welfare warfare state. It is not reformable. It has to be abolished. very concerned about, and that is our health care. As a physician, Dr. Paul knows the importance, the sanctity of the doctor-patient relationship. He knows that that relationship is as important as any other relationship in society, and he wants the doctor and the patient to determine the treatment, not the FDA. Yeah. Yeah. Christian who's delivered more than 4,000 babies, he's unabashedly, unashamedly pro-life. He doesn't. Yeah. There are articles in the paper, I've been reading it, about the recent Supreme Court ruling in the state of New Jersey about when life begins. You don't have to be a PhD or an MD to figure that out. Life begins at conception and Ron Paul believes, and he's the one that turned me into a pro-life Republican. His book, Challenge to Liberty, outlined the limited government support advocacy of the pro-life position. It's something you should all read, Challenge to Liberty. It is the most compelling, the most compassionate 100 pages about the concept of life. Because let me tell you folks, as the son of Holocaust survivors, if you're going to allow the indiscriminate killing of innocent human beings in the womb, then anyone Everywhere is at jeopardy. And as a limited government constitutionalist, Ron Paul will say to the Congress of the United States, we can do it the easy way or we can do it the hard way. We can pass the legislation or we have this power that the Clinton administration and other administrations before them use. It's called executive orders. And that's the ace in the hole that Ron Paul has as the President of the United States. The Congress can implement the will of the people with a Ron Paul victory in November of 2008. The Constitution of the United States will be sacrosanct, will be protected, and our liberties will be protected. Because if our liberties are not protected over the next 10 years, 
it will be like if you saw the movie V for Vendetta, it will be Big Brother, it will be surveillance, it will be permission to get health care, it will be legalized euthanasia. That's what's coming down the pike with government control over health care. That's what's happening in other countries. That's the, the dirty little secret about universal health care. You read about Canada, they're saving money by giving patients the same sheets of previous patients. That's what's happening in universal health care. Universal health care is the worst program we can have. And now they're trying to sell it as a free market approach. Anything the government touches, according to one former person, turns to and you fill in the blank. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. In every area of our life, government is not the answer, it's the problem. Free markets, limited government, non-intervention is the cure for what ails America today. And with your support, ronpaul2008.com, when I left this morning, they were up to $815,000 for a goal of $1 million by midnight tomorrow night. I was fortunate enough to max out. My wife was fortunate enough to max out. We had the means to do it. If you can't do it, give $25 now, and then $25 next week, and then $25 next week. As I've been saying for the last nine months, 100,000 Americans can make Ron Paul president with $100 a month for the next four months. That would be $40 million. Yes. 100,000 people, $100 a month. Think of what the odds were in 1776 mm -hmm. here in the state wow. of New Jersey. Think of what the odds were going against the greatest military empire the world had seen. And because of their devotion to liberty, their devotion to each other, their devotion to us, their devotion to their children, they created a free society. And it's been squandered by both political parties. And Ron Paul is the hope for America. Woo! Before we get to the results of the poll, thanks to everybody who came here, all the speakers and all of you, it's great to see that New Jersey is activated. In a long time we haven't seen that, so hopefully this campaign will mean something in New Jersey. Now the results. The uh, candidates that received less than 1% was Rudy Giuliani, <laughs> Tom Van Friedman, Mitt Romney, Duncan Hunter, and Mr. Huckabee. Coming in at 12% was Fred Thompson. Yeah! And, uh, he wrote for a guy who didn't even show up! <laughs> the uh, winner of the Conservative Attitude New Jersey straw poll was 73%, Ron Paul. This type of activism, this type of passion is exactly what we need.